Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at some good PCB antennas for the Shark Bite system or some other 5.8 GHz FPV system you have. On the left, I have the 9.4 dBi triple fit patch. In the middle, I have the Maple Wireless 11 dB leaf antenna. And on the right, I have the triple fit patch. And this one packs 14 dBi of gain. This one in the middle is the new kit at the block. If you look at this close up, you will notice there are two patches and they are faced together via a matching network, which is similar to the Pepperbox antenna or one of my videos where I demonstrated how to face two patches together using 75 ohms coaxial. Instead of using coaxial to face the company, Maple Wireless is using micro strip and you can see the strip lines here which face them correctly so that they output 50 ohms. Now I'm going to set up the BTX at the window of my house and I'm going to step out get to some distance away from the source of the transmission and I'm going to test out the antennas individually and show you how they perform in terms of penetration which is the gain performance and then we'll look at these two and compare them in terms of the beam width. I will not compare this for beam width because this one is a high gain antenna and as we all know, high gain antennas have narrow beam width. All right, I'm standing outside my house now and I'm separated by four walls from the transmission source and we are testing the normal triple feed patch. As you can see, the colors are not fantastic. It's pretty faint, almost black and white video, but we are able to pick up a visual. I'm trying to find the best position and when I swivel to the left and right, you could see the signal dropping out. All right, now I'm testing the Maple Wireless Leaf Antenna. The signal is pretty much similar to the triple fit patch earlier. As you can see, I'm trying to find the best position. There's a little bit of color just like the earlier patch antenna. So I believe the gain is pretty similar to the, the triple fit patch. All right, now we are testing the 150 mm big triple fit patch antenna. And I'm trying to find the best position, which is somewhere around here. You can see that the colors are richer at the center position. And in this scenario, I'm not testing the beam width as I'm surrounded by the two walls at the side. But yeah, this antenna has the strongest gain among the three. Now let's take a look at the beam width of this small triple fit patch antenna. Let's swivel it to the left side. Notice the signal drops at the extreme end. And now to the right side. As you can see, the beam width of this triple feed patch antenna is pretty wide. I think it's about 70 degrees. Now let's take a look at the Maple Wireless Leaf Antenna. Let's swivel this antenna to the left to see how wide the beam width is. Look at that. Now let's move it to the right side and the signal drops here. Oh, that's an incredibly wide beam width. All right, here's the first flight using the stock shark bite antennas. These are the two patches in front of the shark bite system. Here I'm heading towards my favorite spot where I used to test the penetration of antennas. Behind these bushes would be a blind spot whereby I get very bad signal. Here comes the static and this is the reason why I'm looking at better antennas to improve the performance of my friend's shark bite system. Before testing the three antennas, we actually cover the two patches of the shark bite system with aluminum foil so that only the antennas under test would be receiving the signal from the drone. Alright, here we go with the mini triple fit patch antenna 
and I'm trying to shoot for this opening here. The signal isn't as bad behind these bushes and I think that's sufficient to do a comparison because I do not want to ruin my drone. Alright, now we are testing the Maple Wireless Leaf Antenna. Now I'm flying straight ahead heading for that small opening. And then we shall see what kind of static we get behind that same bush. Here comes the static. Alright, this is with the 150mm big triple feed patch antenna. We should see some significant improvement in terms of signal penetration. Hopefully. Now I'm aiming for that same opening and now here comes the static. It's pretty good. Alright, that concludes my testing of the three PCB antennas. Personally, I like the Maple Wireless Leaf Antenna the most because it has a wide beam width and its gain is pretty much the same as the Mini Triple Fit Patch. All three antennas are pretty inexpensive as compared to the Pepper Box or the True RC XR antennas. And I think they do work well for the Sharp Bite system. That's all I have for this video. As always, thank you for dropping by and see you next time.